Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I gotta do it. Who said it was easy work? Been working so hard, but if I don't, who will niggas stick in this easy work? Yeah, I put on restart, reset, and refocus as many times as you need. You are your own greatest project. But just always remember, don't give up. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one. And as y'all can see, we're coming live from the Rose Garden, man. Take a look at it. Take a look at it, man. We got another beautiful day out here. So y'all already know, I got to thank the Most High for waking me up this morning and giving me another opportunity to be great. And I want to send a big shout out to my brother and my ancestors. Rest in peacefully, you heard? I love y'all. I love y'all. Look at this sky, man. You know, the feel of tranquility out here, man. It's so quiet, you know. But listen, either way, if you up, you winning, man. But, you know, I just want to come out here and holler at y'all, man, and show y'all that, you know, that quick clip from uh, Violet Rose. Shout out to Violet Rose. And shout out to that brother that delivered that message because that's real, bro. You know, you know, we all at some point have to restart, reset, and refocus, bruh. Because it's just like he said, man, we are our biggest, our greatest project, you know? So, you know, when you're working on something big in your life, you gotta do whatever it takes, bro. You know, it's like I said the other day, bro, if you gotta put certain things down, if you gotta step away from a situation, if you gotta step away from a relationship, you know, if you got to step away from habits, if you got to step away from anything, listen, you got to do that. You got to do that in order to realign yourself, man, because that's just how important your life is. That's how important your purpose is. That's how important your energy and your health is, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when you got your priorities straight, listen, you going to know when it's time to make that call. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of being a boss, a boss of the boss of your life, even though the most high is over you. You know what I'm saying? You know, he gonna put a spirit in you to let you know, you know what I'm saying? When you need to do something, when you need to make certain moves, he literally will guide your steps because you're a good person. You know, and he wanna see you succeed. He wanna see you stay obedient. He wants you to continue to do his will and be a light you know, to others out here, bro. So guess what, bro? He gonna put you in position to win. You know, it's just important for you to get them downloads, bro. You know, and how do you get them downloads, man? You stay prayed up. You know what I mean? You continue to seek his face. You know, you stay obedient to him. And guess what, bro? He ain't gonna never abandon you, man. You know what I'm saying? He gonna keep you on that righteous path. You know, and he gonna let you know like, hey, you know, you might need to step away. You might need to chill out. You know what I'm saying? You need to refocus. You know, he gonna tell you when you need to hit that reset button. You know what I mean? So you could get your mind right, man, because he knows. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of distractions out here. You know, he know that it's a lot of haters around. He know that it's people that don't want you to win. He know that the enemy is always lurking. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of times we just can't see certain things. So guess what, bro? He going to protect you, you know, and, you know, low key, man, we be knowing when we be slipping, bro. We be knowing when we be falling short. We know when we be falling off. We know when we just allowing ourselves to get sucked into things that don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? We allow ourselves to get sucked into situations, you know, that we shouldn't even be a part of. We allow ourselves to you know, have our energy lowered, you know what I'm saying, by bad habits and people that shouldn't be around and, you know, the things of this world, bro, you know what I'm saying, it happens to the best of us, bro, understand, it happens to the best of us, so, you know, don't think, you know, that you less than or feel bad about it or anything like that, man, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, that's why I didn't mind taking that break. And I guess what? <laughs> it's like I said, bro, who knows when I have to take another one, bro? You got to be willing to do that. 
You know what I'm saying? It's about putting yourself first. It's about putting the most high first. It's about putting your energy first. It's about putting the things that's important in your life first, bruh. You got to do whatever it takes, man. As many times as it takes. Just like you said in that clip. As many times. So you can't be thinking about nobody else or what anybody else doing. That's why, that's why you got to just focus on you. Don't be looking to the left and the right and all of that, bruh. You know, because sometimes when you paying attention to everybody else, you know, you know, you won't make that right call, you know, to reset and step away for a little bit because you're going to be busy thinking that, oh, they're going to catch up or, or, or they're going to, you know what I mean? They're going to, you know, outgrow me, outshine me. You know, they going to go up all these levels and I ain't going to be OK, you know, but listen, <laughs> you got you can't think that way. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that it's you versus you, not you versus them. You know what I'm saying? They on their own path, their own journey, going their own pace. They got their own momentum. And, you know, you trying to set yours right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like when you play them video games and you create your own player, bro. You know, that's what you're doing with your life, bro. You know, you creating your own player. So anytime you're doing that and you allowing the most high, you know what I'm saying? Well, really, the Most High is allowing you to do that, but you, you know, you letting the Most High guide your steps. Listen, bro, you know, it has nothing to do with them, but everything to do with you. So you got to allow that player to get built. And that's what the Most High is doing with you, bro. He putting you through these, through, through that fire. He putting you through these situations. You know, you feeling all of these emotions. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got you got a lot going. You juggling a lot. You got a lot on your plate. You know what I'm saying? And you try not to make a mistake, but understand, man, if you don't make that right call, bro, you going you going to continue to just fall short. You know what I'm saying? If you don't make that right call. Listen, bro, you're not going to get the proper rest. You know what I'm saying? Things just going to keep snowballing and, and could possibly get out of control. And you got to realize, man, you know, you like an engine, you know, and sometimes that engine need a break. You know what I'm saying? Because if that engine don't get a break, then guess what? That engine going to break. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you got to think about that, bro. Sometimes we be just we be having too much going on, bro. And if we think about what everybody else doing, trying to keep up with everybody else, then listen, bro, you're going to burn yourself out, man. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to really be sitting down. You know what I'm saying? Then you're going to be really out of the race. You know, you think about when you go to the gym or whatnot, man, and, you know, you're getting your workout on and, you know, you're doing your thing or whatnot, but, you know, you see somebody else over there lifting a certain amount of weight or whatnot because... You know, and now you want to do that, and then guess what? You end up hurting yourself. You know, that's why you're not supposed to be paying attention to nobody else. Now you really out of the game. You know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself out of the game because, listen, bro, you know, you know, if you let things just continue knowing that it ain't right, you know, knowing that you ain't been giving it your all, knowing that it ain't your best energy, and guess what, man? Listen, bro, you know, you doing more damage then you are, you know what I'm saying? You thinking that you, oh, I just got to keep going, got to keep going. Oh, bro, you doing more damage, man, because you got a lot of healing that you got to do, bro. You got a lot of recovery that you got to do. So guess what, bro? If you don't allow yourself and your body, your mind, you know what I'm saying, your spirit and all these things to recover, and listen, bro, that's when injury happens. You know what I'm saying? That's when traumas happen. You know what I mean? That's when calamity happens. You know what I'm saying? That's when tribulations, more things just keep getting added to the problems, man, rather than it get fixed. That's why we got to continue to stay on this healing journey. You know, and when you draw closer to the most high, understand, bro, that's healing in itself. You know, when you stand obedient and you studying this word, that's healing in itself. You know what I'm saying? When you walking with the Hamashiach. You know what I'm saying? And you got that Holy Spirit and you got the Ruach Kokodesh in you. That's healing in itself, bro. Don't you understand that, bro? That's healing in itself. So really, you got to understand that's what you really doing when you hit that reset button, when you take a step back, when you allow yourself to rest, when you allow your mind to catch up with itself, bro, you healing in that. And guess what, bro? Like when you get back in the game, bro, it's going to be like, you know what I mean? You're going to be refreshed, bro. 
you know, you're going to be refreshed. You're going to have your electrolytes in you. You're going to have the spirit in you. You're going to have new ideas. You're going to come back ready to work, ready to work. But listen, bro, when you don't do that, man, listen, dog. You just gonna be a jerk. You ain't gonna be ready to work. You just gonna be a jerk, man, because you're jerking yourself out of opportunities. You know, you're jerking yourself out of having a, a, a good running mind, a good running engine. You know what I'm saying? That high energy that you want. I don't know about y'all, but I wanna come with my best. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to come with nothing less. I ain't trying to be coming to the to the game and to the party all burnt out and low energy and stuff like that but man when we get caught up into this world that's what we that's what be happening to us bro you know what i'm saying when we allow ourselves to be distracted that's what be happening to us bro you know when we resort back to them bad habits that's what be happening to us bro you know what i'm saying when we letting them demons win that's what be happening to us bro you know when we be releasing that semen that's what be happening to us bro you know what I mean? When we be negative, that's what be happening to us, bro. We be coming, we be coming to the game half ass. You know what I'm saying? We approach everything, bro, with low energy, man. And when you notice that, man, it's I mean you understand, man, that's for the birds. It's for the birds when you know your potential, bro. You know, you it's for the birds when you know that you could be better than that. And you know that you better than that. When you know that the most high, then then then, you know, put you on a path, you know, of righteousness. When you know the most high, you know, then, you know, then went through long suffering for you. You know what I'm saying? While you was back there, you know, doing all that sinning and in darkness and all of that, bro. But guess what, man? He still had patience with you. You know what I'm saying? He still had patience with you. So, you know, that's why we got to ask the most high for patience, you know, for ourselves, man. We got to ask the most high for patience with each other you know what i'm saying because guess what man you know when you working on something big you know what i'm saying in your life man you know when it comes to the spirit bro you need patience you know what i'm saying you really you really need patience if you ain't got patience man you'll find yourself quitting if you ain't got patience you're gonna find yourself getting irritated if you ain't got patience man you ain't gonna you know, you ain't gonna value others and the things around you, bro. If you ain't got, if you lose patience out here, man, listen, bro. You know, it start with your patience. You lose that, now you losing faith. You losing hope. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then before you know it, you losing yourself out here, bro. So, man, when you, when, when you feel it, if you feel yourself getting burnt out, you feeling your energy getting low, you know what I'm saying? You feel yourself not... You know, being on top of your game like that, bruh, nine times out of ten, you need to hit that reset button and step back for a little bit. So you can come back better than ever. You need to rest your mind. You know what I'm saying? You need to rest your spirit. You know what I'm saying? You need to regain focus, bruh. You know, you need to restart that. You know what I'm saying? Because when you restart that, listen, bro, it's like, you know, you look, sometimes you view it as a setback, but it really ain't, man. You know, it really ain't, bro. Sometimes when you restart something, man, it's just, it's just, it's, it's more refreshing than you think because now you just cleared the lane, you know, for more ideas and more energy and more light to come in. So that's what you got to do, bro. And that's my word, man. My name is Jason, the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.